Right here, Gonks here. Next episode, here, Gonks transgender hate mail, homosexual hate mail, atheist hate mail. Basically, me reacting to a bunch of screen caps on YouTube and DeviantArt. Art. Usually, there are responsive comments I made against these Deviant lifestyles and a few other things. I'm going to trigger one angle. Let's continue on with someone who is trying to explain why they have to lie their way through life when they don't. Continue on. Uh, someone says, here, Red Clarks, as someone who suffers from body dysmorphia, which is the fear of um, what could happen to you because of what body you have, uh, and a condition that many trans people, especially those who look to transition AKA, uh, in real life, IIRC, <laughs> do deal with, research is important, especially to the uninformed. One thing to buy you could better appreciate isn't a bad thing, but it's impossible to have, so you know, learn to live with what you have. Um, yeah, sometimes bad things happen, but that doesn't mean it wasn't bad to begin with. Mm, the lying's bad, though, so mm, don't do that. Mm, uh, your body mutilation argument is flawed in a major way, because I say it is. Mm. Uh, the phrasing makes it sound like you think surgery in general, especially though not just like existing, is a form of mutilation. In a way, it is, but you know, when you're talking something that is healthy and not damaged in any way, and you're trying to, to, to damage it, you know, to so it can look like you want it to look, or something like that, that's wrong. Do you want here? For simulation, people sometimes need surgery to save their lives and/or the lives of others, and/or the lives. Oh, to help organ donation. Sometimes they get to find some level of comfort in their skin for the first time in a long time through lies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wrong. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. I remember having a dysmorphia debate with a friend of, mine, friend of mine. She brought up something her teacher said she didn't like. She didn't like. Uh, dysmorphia is a choice. Mm -hmm. Because people find or well, giving into this, that, that stuff is a choice. Mm -hmm. Giving into it is a choice. Mm -hmm. You know, say no to it. Uh, about how dysmorphia is a choice because people find some things or several things that make them uncomfortable with their flesh. I made a counterpoint that is somewhat in the middle, due to my personal experience, this morphia isn't the choice being made. It's the refusal or its inability to grow beyond that flaw, or at least to accept it, that makes it a condition. I think research, open-mindedness, and even your core beliefs do not change. Far fewer displays of bigotry would benefit you immensely. Mm -hmm. I say, yes, I have dealt with the fear of what could happen. I trust God on that now. Mm -hmm. Click. Yes, help me before he's with me now. There's no need for me to hide a body from people. If they don't like it, that's their problem, not my body. Mm -hmm. And I say, I have no degrees, but I do know the truth. The body we're born in is the only one we'll ever get, and we have to learn to live in it without transitioning. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. no. True. I have no titles to hide behind it. It's still the truth. Mm -hmm. Three words. It's their choice. Mm -hmm. In the uh, you know, mm -hmm. well, video, being trans is not a choice. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know that. <laughs> yeah, it's their choice. Mm -hmm. It is a choice. Mm -hmm. you know, do we, you mean that stuff is a choice? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Whether it's right or wrong isn't our problem. It actually is mine. Mm -hmm. Christian, mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, whatever happens to regrets that come from the choice is also not a problem. It actually is. Mm -hmm. Christian, sorry. Mm -hmm. With the way the world is, people are allowed to live their lives whatever way they want. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, yeah, the way the world is. And then, again, Christian, you know, that's not what we go against the world. Mm -hmm. That stuff. I advise you to just leave it and live your life. No. Mm -hmm. Only none of your choices or decisions affect you other than the fact that they do. Mm -hmm. You know, I could have helped out. Mm -hmm. You know, and I didn't. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to help out. The reward or consequence of that way that I live is their life falls on them. Yes, and me. Mm, I could have helped out. I didn't. Therefore, uh, yeah, mm, that's not good. So we got to help out. Let's see here. Well, what I say next? I say, sorry, but the Bible says, rescue those being led away to death. Hold back those starting towards slaughter. Proverbs 24, 11. Also says, 12. So in everything, do unto others that you would have them do unto you. For that's of the law and the prophets. Matthew 17, 12. 7, 12. 7, 12. Yes, it is a person's choice whether they're going to do in life, but it is a Christian's job to tell people that they are missing up when they make the wrong choice. Mm. Someone says, "Bleh." Mm. Someone says, "What if the other person does a different religion?" Mm -hmm. You know, doesn't matter. Like then, it's up to a Christian to show them that Christianity is better. Mm. Someone says, "I mean, I don't want to start an argument or anything, but that's sort of like saying I follow this diet, so you should too." It is. Mm. Yeah, get that nasty stuff out your life. Mm. You know, that fear stuff out your life. Like, I think it's a good, a, kind of a good thing that there are different religions because it makes stuff sort of different and cool and also dangerous. Mm, you know? I don't have anything against your religion. I think that's pretty cool. But if someone follows a different religion, is that not, you know, that's not bad. Isn't that funny, too? Like I said, as long as it doesn't go against mine. Mm, you know? mm. What do you mean by that? Says this person. I say, as long as the person's belief that the system does not go against mine, then I'm okay with this. The dietology works very well. I want people to stop eating poison. In this case, instead of grease and too much salt and sugar, it's, it's fear. Fear of what could happen to you because of what body you're born with. Psalms 91 2 says, I'll say, Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, who I trust. You must learn to trust God, that I trust that God gave us the bodies we're supposed to have. Psalms 139 has lots of things to say about well, how well God knows us. 
including 13, for you created my innermost being. You need me together in my mother's womb. Mm. Like, you need me together in my mother's womb. Mm. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Mm. The verse says, interesting. So if you don't mind asking, what exactly those psalms mean? Is, is, is it a section of the Bible or something like that? Mm, yeah, mm, it is. Mm. Also, and what does those numbers mean? Mm. Also, I have seen people, some of your comments that say people need to change their attitude instead of transitioning. I actually want to transition when I'm older. I see you are against that. I've been really uncomfortable with myself for a long time because mm, of lies. Uh, what are ways people can have a better attitude with, about? Mm. On themselves, I disagree with you, but I might be wrong. When someone says, uh, "Oh, I never knew, only knew that." The you know, knew that. The more you know, oh, to Phoenix Animation about this just for your book. I say, Psalms is in the Bible. It's the longest book in the Bible, and it is awesome. Mm-hmm. Good. They're also mm-hmm. oh, good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Look, how much time do I have? Let's check. What time? Okay, good. Uh. Well, long as we the Bible, and it's awesome. There are so many wonderful verses in there, and a lot of them are about how awesome God is, and how he made us skillfully and wants the best for us. That's why there's no need to transition, a.k.a. lie, about what biological sex you are. He made you the sex you're supposed to be. Mm-hmm. He did. Let's go. Let's be. Okay, that seems really interesting. So from what I understand, God is really, really, really powerful. And you said he literally made people and skillfully designed them. So I was wondering, why doesn't God just decide everything? And how also, how do people understand what God says? Mm, you know, he tells them, mm, and they write it down, and then you know, we're able to read what he, they told them. They can apply to our lives. Because uh, gods are like so much more advanced than the humans, what I understand. So if God, the gods decide everything, why doesn't God make it like, where people didn't want to transition? You know, they have to, have to choose uh, sin or to go against sin. Mm, you have to choose that. Like, gods are very much capable of seeing exactly what people think. Mm, they are. He is. Mm-mm. God is. Let's go. So I said, my mom used that all the time. Use that all the time, that all the time to guilt me to change the way she wants to wish as I was. You regret it. What if you don't like how you look? You're going to hurt your body because you're forcing it to do what you wanted to, and it's not normal. It is. That's true. It'll hurt you. It'll be hurt when you do it. Think about me too for once. And so I said, what happened to love thy neighbor? It's part of love a neighbor. You know, in Greek mythology. Uh, Prometheus got really drunk and made people with the wrong genitals. Mm, that's a lie. Mm, that's a fantasy. Mm, that's a uh, you know, made-up story. Mm, you know, religion is completely subjective. Because uh, so I, I say it is. Um, but if we're going to go with the Bible, then once again I'm asking, love thy neighbor through lies. I'm like no, mm, you know, by by not stopping us from sinning. I'm like no, mm, it's not love thy neighbor. Mm, that's that's bullcrap. Mm, that's that muddy spring and polluted whale stuff. Mm, you know, the wicked, the righteous giving way to the wicked. Mm, nope, mm, not doing that. Thy neighbor in this line means not you. You are connected to such people might include strangers on the internet. Mm. And I said part of loving thy neighbor is telling people the truth, also holding those stoning you know, back, holding back those stoning towards slaughter. So I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Be doing as a Christian. Mm, mm, mm. Isn't love thy neighbor also something you should be doing as a Christian? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, Phoenix Animation herself comes along. Yeah, she's a girl. First born with ovaries, wants to be a boy. It's never going to happen. So you know, she says she has a male mind, which she, she doesn't. She just has a mind. There's no male female minds. Mm-hmm. You know, no male and female feelings. Mm-hmm. You know, but she's all confused, and now she's coming at me because I'm saying this stuff is bad. You should stop doing it. She says, and here we You have commented on a significant number of my videos. And countless tough times, people have tried to explain to you that what you're doing is more does is more harm than good. Going to their fantasies. I will try my best, although I know you won't listen, to say it again. You may read, but you probably won't listen. You're treating my siblings or friends with disrespect of their religion, of their uh, fantasies, and you're saying they're sinning. You know, <laughs> what well, is true? You're treating them differently. Yes, because they're sinning. So stop it. Uh, let's go. You're treating them like they are sinners. Yeah, the Bible says so. Uh, well, nowhere in the Bible does it say they are, other than the places I, I will show her. Mm, yeah. uh, it says love thy neighbor. Yes, mm, it does not say love thy neighbor except for the LGBTQ uh, two plus ones. There's no fine print. It's love thy neighbor by mm, you know, letting us sin. No, no. Mm, no, that's not true. Uh, there's no fine print. Are you really are loving your neighbor if you're treating them so hurtfully by telling them they're sinning and they need to stop so they don't die? Mm, you don't have to deal with the sins, wages of sin that is death? Well, yes. Mm. You claim you are trying to help us, and they help, and therefore you are inflicted pain through telling the truth. <laughs> uh, pain is justified, yes, by telling the truth, yes. Forgiven, but well, whatever, there's no forgiveness for that. This is what you're supposed to do. 
what have we what have fear tactics and religious trauma 